what up coming to you live from hvny imports let's talk about this subaru vivio rxr so this is a supercharged four cylinder 16 valve dual overhead cam k car a lot to say i was here about a week ago and i made a really short clip of this car and everyone in the comment section was like oh my god i need to know more about this vivio is it front wheel drive is it all wheel drive is it for sale how much is it and in this video we're going to learn all about that i'm going to test drive it and i want to see if it's really that special because like i've been saying over and over and over i want to sell my jimny i think i'm going to raffle it by the time you're watching this video i'm probably already raffling it so into the raffle update on the raffle is currently friday 4 p.m i'm about to head to the post office right now and ship most of the orders as you can see right here this is a large laundry bag of like a good 30 40 orders i probably have two more trips to go but we are down to only 65 slots enjoy the rest of this video but i want to sell the jimny i want to sell the bravo i want to get something new i was looking at the beat initially and i'm not against the beat but I was looking at the beat initially and then I saw this. And from what you guys been telling me, this car can go 100 miles per hour. It's super fun. It's dual overhead cam. It's supercharged. It's all that good stuff. And I love all that good stuff. So let's start off with the exterior. So I love the way the front end looks. Don't really pay attention to the rims too much because if I did buy this car, they could keep the rims. I'm not really crazy about the stretch life. It's not for me. But the front end, I do love the way it looks. I think the headlights give it a nice, like, aggressive look. And I love the fog lights. You guys know any car with fog lights is an automatic 10 for me. I'm a a big fan of that decal and the little side skirts right there i don't really care about that that's a quick buff and then same for back here i think the tail lights kind of curve in in an aggressive way i love the spoiler maybe get a new exhaust but it's nice i think it has a nice look to it love the fact that these windows pop open too but we'll get into that when we get into the interior comes with the rain guards hood scoop in my opinion a very nice looking k car before we get into the driver's seat let me pop the trunk the car is definitely practical as you can see back here two kenwood speakers pretty sure there might be even a spare tire back here look at that spare tire you get some like black leather back here i wonder if these speakers work if they do that's a big pro and then i'm pretty sure these go down somehow yeah you just do that and this and then boom these go down so it is practical back here i like that let me close this guy up start off on the passenger side love the seats by the way love the pattern love the matching door card that's an automatic win for me i love pop colors space wise i don't feel crammed it doesn't feel as comfortable as the wagon r i feel like my leg might get in the way of the person shifting i'm gonna be honest it's kind of surprising it feels it feels a little tight in here i'm actually very surprised i think it's the buckets as you can see the seats they're kind of bucket seats it, and no, it's not even kind of. It's actually a bucket seat. I like that. But I do think that the passenger could be annoying and have their leg like this. Or maybe I'm just man spreading. But I don't see someone sitting like this. And I could see it being annoying. If you have a K-Truck, you know what I mean. But not too bad. That's pretty big. Power windows. AC. I can't believe this car has bucket seats. I'm really feeling it now. And I cannot believe it has bucket seats. But let's see what it's like back there. Is this car actually a four-seater or is it really just a two-seater? See if I could actually fit an adult back here. So surprisingly, I fit okay. As you can see, this seat is a little higher than that one, but not drastically. I don't feel that uncomfortable. I got a little storage right here, a little storage right here. This might be a problem if you're over 5'9". If you're like 6'2", you might not be able to sit back here. Light works. It's not bad though, it's really not bad. It has seatbelts? Oh, it even has seatbelts. Not bad at all. Now let me pop the hood. It took me forever to find this. Ta-da! Dual overhead cam, brand new supercharger. The wires look new too. Maybe they put new wires and plugs. Looks pretty dry down here. Let me put this right there. Battery looks relatively okay. No strut tower rust. Subaru Clover 4. Power steering is nice. Um, Subaru oil cap, that's cool. All right, let's give her a start. All the lights work. Oh, radio does work, let's go. But all right. 
Chill, Subaru, damn. E-brake, put the lights on, put the fog lights on. What else? I don't really care if the AC works. I'll check that in a second. Let's let the car warm up. See if the lights work. Let me put the hazards on. Let's go. Look at this. Look at this. This is a beaut. Let me take a picture right now. This might be the thumbnail. Might need the battery to be charged. It's kind of acting up with the lights. Clear coat is fading. I don't mind that though. This would be a fun car to wrap. This would be super fun to wrap. Needs a wash more than anything. Rear wiper, I didn't even realize that. Let's get inside. Wow, is this power mirrors? Wow, look at that, power mirrors. That's crazy, and they both work. Power windows, of course. That's not really surprising. Well, let's see what's up with the radio. Do all speakers work? Nah, the real ones do not work. AC. That works. This is a little tear, but I'm not really worried about that. I'll let it warm up a little more and then we'll drive it some because this is nice. This is clean. All right, so I let it warm up a bit. Clutch feels good. Let's get into first. So I want to start this off by saying it's no secret that I love, uh, love the supercharged sandbar. And from my understanding, that's a single overhead cam fuel injected K truck. This is a dual overhead cam, same thing supercharged and a hot hatch. Probably not much heavier than the supercharged sandbar that's right over there, but let's see how it feels. I'm not gonna drive anything too crazy, but I do wanna give it a pull just to see if it's the same miles per gallon that I got on the K truck. I'm gonna go over here. I'm in second right now. Let me punch it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that whine, but I definitely heard the whine. These rims are so huge though, I don't want to scrape or rub. Alright, not bad. But alright, let's look at this again. See if you can hear it. It's definitely whining. It's definitely whining. I don't know if it's as fast as the cappuccino. quick though it's definitely quick this is a quick hot hatch i'm really liking this i love the bucket seat too like at first i was like hey why does that bucket seats it actually makes a big difference the cappuccino does have bucket seats and it's way more comfortable than a cappuccino and it actually seats four but let me back this up let me switch the camera on too because i want to use two hands i want to really drive this car all right let's see subaru vivio real test drive i think it needs some power steering or something or maybe the car just hasn't been but you hear that that little wheel sound. Let me just drive it normally. Forget pulling. Let me see what this would be like. The tires are just not helping me out right now. I know if I had normal 14s or 13s, it wouldn't feel this bumpy, but come on, I gotta get serious right now. Comfortability feels fine. I'll probably buy like coilovers or something fun for this. Maybe some springs. Turbo's like a, it's a, it's like a, it's a different quick. Let me do one more over here. I'm also not even really like driving it. Like I'm 
shifting gears at like five and it red lines at nine. <laughs> I'm really not even pushing it, but I don't have the space. I can't drive it that hard though. Yeah, it has a lot to go. It has a lot to go. Like I wish I can get this on the road road. This is fun. This is really fun. Like I said, I can only imagine this with, you know, regular non 15 by 8 rims. Like just a regular nice offset set of wheels. Like this is good. What more can I see right now? Oh, rear wiper? That works. That wiper works. AC works. Radio works. I really like this. Windows work kind of a four-seater it's at least a three-seater someone can definitely sit in between here and my seats up too like this is all the way back by the way this is i don't you could be like six freaking five and drive this car like there's so much room let me take this off just so you can see like look how much room is here and this goes up that's a wheel all the way up like this is too i could barely even reach the pedals and i feel like i'm not a short person and it's bucket seats remember so this is me all the way sitting back in my bucket seat and look i can't even put my foot all the way down on the clutch that is crazy this thing is very spacious definitely don't have room back here if i do this but i was really driving probably like that like a lot up and now i'm able to do that Man, this is exciting. This is exciting times right now on the Way for the Fame channel. Because I know that's going to get done, raffled, sold very soon. Same with the Bravo. And it's just so many new cars, like I've been saying. I had no idea what a Vivio was. No idea. And it's front-wheel drive, by the way. Imagine this all-wheel drive. Had no idea what this even was. And now look. Now I want an RXR. Just look at the undercarriage. How does that look? Car is kind of low. Look at that. It's clean. Nice and clean under there. Look at this side. This I'm not crazy about, but again, I'm not also stressed out about it. It's probably rust behind that, but again, I don't really care. Oh no, it's clean under here, guys. I know making these videos don't really help me out because I'm not about to buy it today and one of you guys might. But if you buy it, you know, just mention wait for the fame and think about me when you're driving it. Are these both open? Ooh, love that. Definitely have to get these wired in if I bought this car. I don't know what else to say, man. It only has 84,000 kilometers, six digit odometer. I haven't even got it up to seven. Like I ha I've been shifting gears at five and it's been pulling me back. I could only imagine seven, forget nine. I can only imagine seven. Now you can see the tag nice and clear. I'm in first gear. Wish I had a supercharged light, that'd be cool. But now let's switch it to second. Do you guys see that? That's only six and I ran out of road. I ran out of road. Trust me, I wanted to keep going. Reverse now, I'm trying not to scrape. Look at that fitment. Go into first. Ride smooth though, outside of that, like just driving like this normally. This is third. I could definitely take this car on a road trip, honestly. I wonder what that circle is. I wonder if I can put like a cool Subaru clock or something. But yeah, there it is, man. I'm gonna end this video here. Got a lot of things to think about. Raffle either coming soon or has already started. Let's get one last look. Let's get one 4K quality look of the Vivio. Kind of curious to know why it only has a decal on one side. I wonder if the other side just came off. Really curious to know what aftermarket support looks like too on this. But tell me this car is not sexy. I would wrap this car in like a crazy color. You don't even want to know. You don't even want to know. Subaru Vivio coming soon? I don't know. Wouldn't doubt it though. Tell you that much. Peace out. Catch you guys on the next one. Road to 5K subs. Subscribe to the channel.
beautiful. Remember the name. This is way before the fame.